Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. If you are new to my channel, I am your girl Beanie. I am all things God, self-love, spirituality, life advice, um, as well as some acting hints and tips and tricks. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for constantly sharing your love, sharing my videos. Um, I really appreciate you. I thank you so much for being on this seven year YouTube journey with me. All right, so you know what to do. Let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, release. I live in the flow of unlimited possibilities. I live in the flow of unlimited possibilities. I live in the flow of unlimited possibilities. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. <sighs> All right, guys. So I'm going to be redoing a lot of my most popular videos here on YouTube. I get a lot of questions surrounding this video. And you guys know I love to answer all these questions. But recently I had, I was in a email conversation with somebody for like an hour walking them step by step through the past sexual partner aura cleansing really i'm just going to try to like go through all of the questions that a lot of people ask me in this video so if you've never watched that video go ahead i have the link below i'm gonna put it up here somewhere and um yeah let's get into some of the most common questions that people ask me about this video so one of the first questions that people always ask me is what if you don't remember their name now i have had beautiful sex workers come and ask me this i have had people who you know had a rowdy um college experience and sometimes you engage in intercourse with people and you don't remember their name no shame no harm no foul whatever right and if you do not remember the person's name do your best to remember an article of clothing eye color hair color, hair texture, big hands, it doesn't really matter. All you want to do is bring it up in your mind, bring it up in your spirit, bring it up in your soul so that you can like let it release. So if you don't remember the person's name, try to remember the day. Try to remember, you know, a characteristic about that person. The second thing people ask me is, do you need a candle? Now, it's good to have a candle especially when you do it the first time it is good to have like a wider candle and in a safe place where your house is not gonna burn down god forbid okay jesus um but i do recommend doing it with a candle if you don't have a candle um i the second time i did it i just wrote the name wrote how they made me feel what you know all the things and then i just um and then I just put on the, the, the stove. <laughs> and I burned that person's name on the stove. And that was it. That was it. I burned that person's name on the stove. It was just one person. So I just had to get that little cleansing off of me, you know. <laughs> the, the third thing people ask me is like, when you're writing out, you know, how they made you feel, what attracted you to them, I'm gonna put the link for the actual, how to do the clearing in the description box. People kind of always ask me like, should I pray? What else do I say? And I say, yes, you know, the point of this is not to feel shame. The point is to clear your aura. That's it. And if shame and guilt come up, then that is what you incorporate into your prayer. So you can just say like, God, you know, I ask that you release the shame and guilt from me. You know, it's not about condemnation. It's not about, God, I did a bad thing. Never, because God is not like that. God is a God of love, doesn't even have the capacity to sit here and be angry at you for engaging in intercourse with someone, whatever. Like, no, God, if anything, God is like, dang. All right, I didn't think that was the best decision, but... I love you anyway right so that's how you're kind of going into this especially in the praying part you know you just be like God I'm feeling shame I'm feeling guilt I hand this over to you God is the one that can handle your emotions God already knew what you did God knew how it was gonna affect you and God is like I'm here I'm ready like give it to me like I will give you I will give you the space to be able to um move on from this because god is like i want you to move on from this so yes give it to me give me your burdens give me your give me your emotions uh, 
Another question that people ask me is, do I have to do this every time I have sex with somebody? And no, of course not. You do not have to do this every single time. I would, however, recommend doing this when you know for real that the relationship is over. And you do that so that you can clear out the energy to allow the next better person to come to you. Um, and I would recommend that now that can be different because you know sometimes some people date frequently or yeah some people date frequently they're in committed relationships frequently but you know this is also just an act of self-care so if you incorporate if you're incorporating this practice this you know cleansing into your self-care then you know it's then it's all good but maybe even do it once a year, right? When the at the end of the year, if you're like, okay, Beanie, I can't be doing this because I got a new person every three weeks. Like, save it for the end of the year. Do like, write down every person. You can still do the documentation of what did that person make you feel? How, why were you attracted to that person? Why was that person attracted to you? What did they say? You know, like documenting that in your journal. And then at the end of the year, do a big full soul cleansing. So do you have to do this after every single partner? No. Um, can you leave it till the end of the year? Sure. Honestly, whatever works for you. Someone asked me, um, can you take a spiritual bath reciting, you know, doing the practice? Can you take a spiritual bath while cleansing your past, uh, cleansing your aura of past sexual partners? No, because you need the fire. The fire is what, you know, disintegrates, burns, breaks down, um, but also it allows you to rebuild. So um, you'd need to be on dry land with the candle or some fire and not in a, you can take a spiritual bath if you want to after you've done the practice. But another question people ask me is what kind of crystal do you use? I use the carnelian, which is connected to the sacral plexus chakra. Now the sacral plexus chakra is the sexual chakra, the creative chakra. That's where we either harbor our sexual shame, our sexual suppression, like that is where it is. But that's also where, you know, that's the womb, right? For women, that's the womb. That's where we, you know, have the babies or that's where we carry our children. That's the creative area. So. Um, I use a carnelian crystal. Um, can you use other orange crystals? Yes, absolutely. I, that's what we're really doing here. We're really just, of course you're dealing with your aura, but when it comes to sex, you are dealing with the sacral plexus. Um, and, uh, Honestly, you can use a selenite, right? The selenite wand, that's really great for just all the chakras and cleansing and clearing all um, all of you. So um, to me, the what crystal you use is not that important. It's really not. For me, it's the, the crystal helps, but it's really about the intentionality and it's about, um, Honestly, the, the goal is just to feel lighter and to feel better and to move on freer. Um, someone once asked me, can I use a fruit instead of an orange? Can I use an orange item? They asked me if they could use an orange fruit and I was like, um, I guess if you want to. If you want to have an orange item there, sure. But again, I, I really don't think that those really are that important to the actual practice but however you want it to like however you want to feel cleansed honey do what you got to do another question people ask me a lot is like what do you define as sex someone asked me does phone sex count and i said yes um if there's some type of orgasm or penetration you know this person came to me asked me about the phone sex thing i do believe phone sex is because if you are ending it in orgasm orgasm it's like that spiritual release i do um now this is personal preference right like this is for you this exercise is for you am i gonna sit here and count the time that billy touched my boob in the eighth grade no i'm not um if you want to you can because if that sparked an emotional response in you or something like that then you can um as I said in my first past sexual, past or sexual partner cleansing, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but last time, you know, I talked about how I didn't think I had a choice. 
I didn't think I could say no. I didn't think that because it was like, you know, nobody, I wasn't choosing well with the right partners. So um, my sexual experiences, like, they weren't always great. They weren't always great, right? So that's why I was like, okay, mm -mm, fresh start. And that's when I entered into my celibacy journey. Um, and I think this is a great thing for anybody who wants to enter into their celibacy journey, like, you know, cleansing your aura, starting fresh, starting new, forgiving yourself, releasing shame, releasing guilt, and moving forward in a fresh, lighter, new way. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please feel free to email me at beanietvyo at gmail.com. Please also hit me up on Instagram if you're looking for a soul coach or if you're looking for uh, my self-development e-course. Feel free to hit me up on Instagram. I love you guys so much. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting these past seven years. I appreciate y'all. Share this video with a friend of a friend of a friend. Share this channel with a friend of a friend of a friend. Give this channel, give this video a thumbs up and let's get to 10,000 subscribers by January 1st of 2020.